Hello, and welcome to our video on Beverage Good Manufacturing Practices. Good manufacturing practices, abbreviated as GMPs, are key to producing safe and stable products. In this video, we outline the steps involved in beverage production and how GMPs work at each step. The first step is to check ingredients. When ingredients arrive, they must come with specification documentation or a certification of analysis, also known as a C of A, for the specific lot. At this time, you should double check these documents and ensure the ingredient C of A's received match the specification records. All incoming ingredients should be logged using lot codes or assigned internal codes for your traceability and quality paperwork. Once ingredients are accounted for, they should then be moved to appropriate storage areas to keep them clean, protected, and at the correct temperature. Ingredients should never be stored on the floor or in open containers. The next step is for the facility to decide what attributes, specifications, and testing are desired or mandatory for their quality procedures. It is key to ensure it is clearly laid out in standard operating procedures known as SOPs. Next up, the ingredients will be brewed or blended to create the final product. It's important that all steps and control checks are documented in the SOP for each product. This ensures the same steps checks and records are being completed every time. These checks give confidence that the final product is consistently within specifications and also allow time for troubleshooting if necessary. Batch records are used to ensure ingredients are being weighed properly, tracked for inventory and traceability purposes, and incorporated in the proper order. If there are specified mixing times or speeds, these need to be stated and recorded. Sometimes during mixing or processing, there are specific temperature targets to meet. These targets should be outlined clearly for staff, making it easy to obtain and clear how frequently the temperatures need to be checked and recorded. If analytical testing needs to occur throughout the process, it's important to know when testing is needed and what the specifications are. The Quality Control QC department completes these tests, such as pH and bricks, before the next processing step can move forward to ensure accuracy and efficiency. There are many control parameters to be mindful of when it comes time for packaging, such as ensuring the primary package has the correct attributes and is absent of damage in foreign bodies. During a packaging run, it is important to implement testing protocols at consistent time points where product is taken from the line and inspected for various parameters, including ensuring the required volume is being delivered to each container by checking fill weights. When canning, performing can seam checks during the run is extremely important to make sure the products will not leak or spoil quickly.
performing regular checks to ensure the pasteurizer is maintaining the necessary temperature for processing the product. Testing of the product during the production run. Making visual inspections of the product to ensure labels are proper and codes are correct and legible. To maintain product quality, store it in recommended conditions until the time of shipment. Make sure all traceability paperwork to track where the product is, when it was produced and from what batch is complete. To learn more about developing or scaling up your beverage product, get in touch with Pernia. Our team would love to help you bring your idea to market. This footage was taken at the Beverage Factory by Good Robot, open at 14 Industrial Way, Elmsdale, Nova Scotia. The Beverage Factory produces all of Good Robot Co. products and offers a number of co-packing options for both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages.